Hello and welcome. This is Nolan with Discover NC Homes and Nolan's News. And I uh, wanted today to talk about some of the changes that the North Carolina Real Estate Commission has made on our offer to purchase and contract. Uh, every July, these changes get sent out to us as brokers and oftentimes we'll do a, uh, a course where they're covered. Um, and a lot of these changes usually come from the, the commission who uh, is comprised of employees and a panel of attorneys uh, reviews the complaints that have come in or new regulation that has come in and alter our contract in various ways to try and protect you as a consumer, uh, seller, buyer, and also us uh, against some things that might have been complained about. So uh, with no further ado, so some of these changes are on page two, we now have a much better description of when, how, the due diligence money and earnest money need to be delivered and immediate remedies if that money is not delivered. Now this has been a big deal in the past because sometimes we'll get a contract and this money is lagging behind a certain amount of time and it was never really defined what time period that was. So now we have a, a, just a very clear definition of when and how this money does need to be delivered. <coughs> Excuse me, another change on page four <coughs> excuse me, um, had some changes with what's included in the contract, meaning there are certain things in a home like a light fixture, uh, for example, a fan fixture, those are attached to the house. So there were two new additions that I just thought were interesting. One included uh, attached exercise equipment, and another was uh, rain barrels and attached water features for landscaping. So. Not a very big deal, but again, if you think about it, uh, rain barrels could be considered something as a personal item. So just little things to look like that might get all of us in trouble in a transaction. So now we know to look, I guess that look at least, at least a little better. Uh, page nine, it now we have a checkbox to say that there is not a current lease on a residential property. So before it at least mentioned that, but now we have to physically check on the offer to purchase if there is a lease or not on the property. So that must have been uh, someone getting sued over something there. Uh, page 10, pretty big one. There's a whole paragraph on governmental compliance, meaning is your property violating any zoning restrictions? Do you have anything buried on your property? Are you basically within all the government uh, standards that you should be? So I think there, you know, something major must have happened in our state uh, to, to at least bring this whole new paragraph into play. And then last one that I want to bring up is on page 12. Uh, it now specifies exactly what needs to go with the property. Before, contract would say at least keys and garage door openers, but now it lists amenity passes, mailbox keys, key fobs to get into anything with reference to the community. So kind of boring changes, but just good to know because again, they are there to protect us. Um, so that's just an overview. If you have any additional questions or need anything, please let us know and we'll talk to you soon.